to have already beaten South Africa here before, how useful uh, an experience is that going into tomorrow's match? Well, look, yeah, we've played South Africa on my first tour, so they've come a long way since then, and hopefully we've come a long way too. Um, it probably counts for nothing in, to a degree. It counts for something because we'll get confidence from it, and hopefully we've left a few scars, but to a large extent, it's a one-off game, isn't it? You know, it's a, a winner-takes-all match with a, with a big prize at the end of it. So, yeah, it's, it's about coping with the pressure and doing the very, very simple things very, very well. The team that does the little things really well will probably have the best day tomorrow. Um, Mark, do you feel that the team has grown into this event? Have they got better as those tw seven games in 22 days have gone on? Oh, 100%. And as I say, I said that right at the beginning. I felt we'd get better as the competition went on because you know, we had people with niggles. We had people out, a little bit down on overs. We had the captain coming back from an injury. Long Winfield we missed. So Sarah, um, we had a bit of doubt on that. So we always felt as the tournament would get going, would get people into form and we've worked really hard on the two opening bowlers to get them back into rhythm, back into form. Obviously, Annie missed a lot of cricket in the last year. So it's, it's been heartening to see where we are and it was a very professional performance the other day on a, on a difficult wicket. I thought 180 would have been par. I thought 200 would have been a winning score to get 220. It was brilliant. And Heather, uh, from a playing perspective, how much are you and the team enjoying uh, playing uh, in this part of the world, somewhere that obviously you're very familiar with? Yeah, we're loving it. Um, I think I started training here when I was about 13 years old, so I know, know the place very well and um, seen the ground develop as well. And the girls have loved playing here. It's, the support's been brilliant. Um, that game against Australia was was a real highlight. The, the sort of crowd lived every ball towards the end with us, and it, as a player, it really does lift you. It, it kind of makes you want to do well, and um, obviously reward the supporters that have come to watch us. And, and I think the girls have. I've really tried to play that, that type of cricket that is exciting to watch and um, hopefully people will continue to get behind us. Obviously, big game tomorrow. I know it's midweek, but um, hopefully a few people taking sickies and, and coming down and support us. And, and how much of a uh, bonus or a benefit to you as players is it to see the, the level of excitement, not just here, but around the country for, for what you're doing? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I think credit to the ICC and, and the ECB for, for kind of staging the, the type of tournament they had and, and sort of giving it the same publicity as they, as they would a men's tournament and it's also been great to see so many young girls coming coming and watching and um, the mascots are, were good fun the other day as well so um, yeah we're really enjoying it and, and we hope we'll, we can put on another good show and another winning performance tomorrow. And as a group of players how are you feeling about the challenge that, that is coming your way tomorrow? Generally quite relaxed I think the girls have been uh, generally quite calm and, and going about their business with a bit of purpose today I think because of the schedule, it's been very full on. It just feels like another another sort of game, and um, that's quite a nice place to be, I think. And I think it's obviously they'll be adding nerves tomorrow. I think at the semi semi final, but that's that's natural. We wouldn't be human if, if that was the case. But I think um, it's important we stay relaxed and trust in what we've done and, and trust in our skills. And um, yeah, we're, we're confident we can put in a strong performance. And um, it's the, those sort of big games that you, that you want to do well in. Mark, you said that South Africa had come on. How have they come on since the last time you played them? Because I think they were ranked sixth coming into the tournament. Well, I think they played a lot of cricket, and you, you get experience from winning and losing. Um, as I say, I, th I think I read a stat. I think there's them in India that played the most cricket out of all the teams in the world. Um, the young opener, who I always mispronounce, I won't even try today, has been outstanding, hasn't she? She made a debut against us, looked a good player then, and she's had a great tournament. Um, you know, they've, they've changed the order slightly with Lee going up front and she gets them off to a dangerous start. So, and the two leggies, the, the, the bowlers are, are, are good as a full stop, but they've probably got a bit more depth in the batting than when we play them in South Africa. So there'll be a test tomorrow. Heather, can I ask, you know, you played in the uh, World T20, T20 semi-final last year where England got into a great position to win that game and ended up falling away. And now as captain, do you see yourself with a sort of mentally stronger group of players that won't necessarily fold in that manner? Yeah, hopefully. Obviously, cricket's cricket. Sometimes things like that happen. But I think a lot of the things we've done in the last 18 months were because of that semi-final and, and about um, being better prepared, I guess, if, if we're in that position and um, being able to cope with pressure and, and deal with it better. And I think I think the girls are, are in that place. I think we're, we've got a better skill level as well, I think. And um, that's a, a massive pressure off when you, when you trust your game, you trust... Trust the players um, coming in next, and, and you trust the bowlers. So yeah, I think we're we're definitely in a better place to do that. And and obviously we've got a strong South African team tomorrow, and it's important that um, we turn up and, and we um, 
do the things that have served us so well and, and we stay relaxed and, and just do our jobs really, that's, that's what it's about.